When preparing for climate change, we need to think carefully about the consequences of the different choices we face. But climate change is a very complex issue. It's not just about change in temperature. It's about how changing climate interacts with the socio-economic changes in the world around us. So how can we make better choices in the face of such uncertainty? Conventional decision-making tools tend to focus on short-term and well-defined problems. And policies are typically evaluated using economics-based methods. But there are problems with trying to express the opportunities and risks of climate change in simple numerical terms. Not least because it can result in a misleading and even dangerous illusion of confidence or certainty. The impressions approach instead focuses on sustainability and indicators of human well-being. It's designed to aid the process of thinking about the possible consequences of climate change and developing practical options for dealing with them. Instead of just bottom-line economics, it talks about opportunities and risks in terms of synergies, trade-offs, capacities and robustness. And it has developed scenarios for exploring how the impacts of high-end climate change might play out under different socio-economic conditions and what the opportunities and risks might be for each. These scenarios have been developed together with stakeholders for Europe as a whole, but also for Scotland, Iberia, Hungary and Central Asia to illustrate some of the different priorities at the national and sub-national levels. The first scenario imagines a future in which there is a commitment to achieve sustainable development goals through global cooperation, resulting in less inequality and less resource-intensive lifestyles. But even in this scenario, there is still climatic change. By the end of the 21st century, average temperature increases to 3 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, with significant warming in the Arctic and a decrease in precipitation across the Mediterranean region. Awareness of environmental and economic crises puts pressure on governments to invest in renewable energy, health and education. Strong social cohesion enables communities to become more resilient to impacts and risks. Changes in behaviour, together with advances in green technologies, lead to a CO2-neutral society by 2050. But such a utopian future would not be without compromises and trade-offs. For example, an increase in food self-sufficiency would require a major shift in land use towards agriculture. This would in turn lead to habitat changes, such as loss of forestry and a potential decrease in some species. The second scenario considers a future where economic problems and increasing demand for resources lead to conflict between and within regions of Europe. The social fabric breaks down and many countries are left struggling to maintain living standards. In this scenario, climate changes quite significantly. By the 2080s, average temperature increases to 5.4 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, but with the Mediterranean and Alpine regions experiencing a warming of more than 8 degrees Celsius in summer, and Arctic regions warming by more than 10 degrees in winter. Precipitation decreases significantly across southern Europe and increases in the north, leading to extremes of drought and flooding. Declining trade causes an increase in energy and food prices, alongside a massive build-up of the defence sector. Long-term planning becomes difficult, with very little money for education, research or innovation. The environment reaches a tipping point as ecosystems begin to fail, and by 2080, the population of Europe has declined by nearly 40%. The EU breaks down, with new regional blocks forming in the north and south. A high carbon-intensive Europe emerges with high inequalities between and within countries. The third scenario is a future where global power belongs to a political and business elite. Sparked by economic crisis and extreme weather events, the EU increases commitment to find innovative solutions to climate change, causing a shift towards a high-tech green Europe, strongly supported by big business. Despite such efforts, there is still a moderate level of climate change, similar to that of the first scenario. In particular, a warming of the Arctic in winter and a drying of southern Europe in summer. At societal level, inequalities are rising and the gap between rich and poor is widening. On one side, an affluent and internationally connected society, 
on the other, more fragmented, lower-income communities that work in a labour-intensive, low-tech economy. By 2100, Europe is an important player in a world full of tensions, but with growing inequalities across and within European countries. The elites remain in charge by suppressing the majority of the population, who are kept quiet but not happy. The fourth scenario is a future of fossil fuel development. In this world, people place faith in competitive markets and innovation as the path to sustainable development. Cities sprawl and belief is strong in humankind's ability to manage social and environmental systems. A lack of environmental concern leads to the exploitation of fossil fuel resources and significant climatic changes, including a temperature rise of 8 or even 10 degrees Celsius in some regions by the end of the 21st century. Global markets become increasingly integrated, with interventions focused on removing institutional barriers. Economic wealth provides for strong investments in health, education and social capital in some regions. In other regions, increased individualism and a lack of wealth distribution leads at first to booming economies, later followed by social and economic collapse. By 2100, the environment is so seriously degraded that investment begins slowly turning towards green technology, but perhaps too late. Each of the scenarios were applied to models in order to project future changes in impacts for different sectors of the economy, society and environment. The models resulted in indicators showing whether the system as a whole is becoming more or less sustainable under each scenario. Of course, none of these scenarios are predictions. We can never be certain of what the future will hold. But we can improve our understanding of what the consequences of high-end climate change might be. And the Impressions Project has achieved this through a process of extensive modeling, exploring the potential impacts in each of its five case study areas. Keep watching to find out more.